Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Cool. Okay, sorry. Oh. Bam. Cool. Hey, good morning. Hello. Oh. Good morning, good morning. Uh, sorry, we are late a little bit. 14 minutes late, sorry. <laughs> so this is Eddie and Nathan here, uh, Monday, Korea time, uh, morning 8.45. Uh, we changed a little bit the time uh, because when we did live video before, uh, you know, some of some person, no, actually one person say it's too late. 2 a.m. in Italy, so I want to a little bit, you know, times, move, move, move times, like a little bit early. So uh, we want to uh, give you, like, a, you know, better uh, live time, live show time, so that you can, you know, join. Good morning. morning Monday morning 8 45 in Korean Standard Time uh, for today we uh, as we speak as we told you we are going to speak about uh, money so you know many people wondering or want to come to Korea so they have they have plan you know they have a uh, you know visa things done application so how much after or how much it is and also, you know, not just nutrition, but also cost of living is cost of living is very important, you know, apparently, mm -hmm. because you are you are going to stay here more than I don't know, like three months, six months, or like uh, one year, up to two years or more. So you wonder like, how much, you know, all the cost. So we are trying to cover some uh, cost, like common cost, and also if you have any questions about some like prices for I don't know, like taxi or subway or like food then we are going to show you like how you know how much it would be uh, that's pretty much mm -hmm. for uh, purpose of this meeting at uh, this not meeting purpose of this live video uh, once again this is like an AMA so ask me ask us anything so uh, if you have any questions uh, not just in the price but also in general like, uh, let, uh, ask us before like a start uh, intro, I want to tell you that like we are streaming in the YouTube and Facebook as well. So Instagram, we cannot share the screen. I'm afraid, but we try. Uh, the reason that we late today is because we are gonna share the uh, you know the scene, the video uh, in the live show. So that's why we test it out. Is so that's why we are a little bit late. So if yeah. you wanna show, uh, if you wanna see the price, all the things like in our live show please join to like facebook or our youtube channel so that you can see oh how much it is in, in text so you can see oh you, you will figure it out like better you know test it. any updates uh we have one question on facebook can we study and work in korea mm -hmm. um it it depends so if you qualify for the d4 one visa which is the visa to study language in Korea, then after studying for six months, then you qualify to find part-time work, and you can work up to 20 hours per week. And it's immigration that makes you study first because they want you to kind of get to know the Korean language and life in Korea before you enter the workforce. And also the Korean language programs are pretty much similar to a full-time job in terms of workload and studying. So if you either have a D4-1 visa or you qualify for also a working holiday visa, then you can work part-time. Um, but if you uh, decide to study and work, then you have to, of course, fill those fulfill both obligations. There's an attendance requirement for the study programs. And also, of course, if you work, then you should go to work. So, <laughs> so there is some criteria, you yes. know, which really also, you know, can give you or guide you how to do, you know, after studying or during the studying, so feel free to you know ask us 
for those questions. And also, that would be good question because you know I want to also tell you guys about the minimum wage mm -hmm. uh, in Korea. I believe we made one video about it, mm -hmm. but with this like time, it's all we are trying to cover like all the cost in your currency. And also, so, someone noticed you changed your glasses. Back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I did. Um, it's like glasses. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right. Anything else? We any updates? So March um, term is pretty finished. The applications and the June summer, term, yeah, yeah summer summer, summer, one, summer one. one is like a starting. So you know, if you are interested in coming to like June or you know, September or December, uh, ask us. If you're asking about meals, then um, you're going to need to provide yeah, your own spending money for meals if you're on the summer course. If you have more details about, or if you need more details about how much to put in, then you can email me. I believe we've already been talking. Yeah. Uh, sorry about the weird angle of my head. I'm trying to read your <laughs> questions. Uh, so for accommodations, if you need help with that, then we can help you with three different types in addition to dormitories. Homestay. So we can help you with home stays, share houses, and mini studios. If you want to lease an apartment, that's a little bit of a unique yeah. situation. Uh, so uh, first, it requires a very large deposit normally in Korea, and the contracts between you and the landlord or you and the real estate agent. So every year, like it's two years, which is yeah, not ideal. One to two year years. contract, and you probably have to put down a very large deposit like $10,000 US or $5,000 US mm -hmm. or something. So um, that's better to figure out when you're in Korea, maybe after you've been here for a little bit and if you can afford it. But shall we jump into the. Yes. Okay. okay. So we made like this nice. Sorry. Not this one, sorry. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Oops. So I believe you should see this my desktop now with the spreadsheet. On Facebook at least. Yes. I'm trying to solve the YouTube. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you can see the spreadsheet and us in the corner. Yeah. Sorry, Instagram, we'll have to <laughs> talk it through for you. Yeah. We're gonna show you the the screen, however, feel free to come to our YouTube channel or Facebook live show so, so that yeah. we can see, you know, uh, how it looks like. It's something like this. Yeah. Yes. So you can see us in the corner and uh, the spreadsheet. It's a little blurry. But anyway, it's, it might be better to for you to understand, you know. Right? Good. Otherwise, I can check you. Yes, I'm gonna check you too. Yeah. So once again, uh, we are going to cover some costs, like uh, basically your tuitions, you know, mm -hmm. tuitions, or like a cost of living, subway fee, or like in general. So if you are in like a, any questions, uh, ask us so that we can uh, tell you how much it would be. Uh, so, you know, in Korean one or in your courage, basically. From, from YouTube, how flexible are the language courses regarding the schedule? Um, so for Eric, the terms for the language schools are pretty much set dates. So you can normally start during March, June, September, or December. And of course, the dates vary depending on which school. And for Lexus, uh, Korea, they're a private academy. They, they aren't a university program. 
And with them, it's much more flexible. You can start any Monday. So if you need more flexibility and need to start some other time, then Lexus Korea would be great for you. And uh, if you'd like to volunteer or do something like that, that's okay. Uh, as long as you're not getting paid for it. Right, right. <laughs> so if you want to like volunteer at like an animal shelter or something like that, then that's okay. As long as they're, they're not paying you uh, because that would normally be illegal. Uh, depending on your situation, such as uh, what visa you have and such. So if you have like a working holiday visa, then that's okay if they pay you. If you have a D41 visa and you've been studying for six months and then after that you qualify to find part-time work, then that's okay. Uh, Joan had a question. I couldn't hear what you said about part-time jobs. Okay, just, just again, uh, you can find this uh, information too uh, online. If you have the D41 visa, which is the Korean language uh, study visa, then you have to wait six months before you qualify to find part-time work. And both your school and immigration have to approve you to do that. And then if you have a working holiday visa, if your country qualifies for that, then you can work immediately and you can also study at the same time. Although the working holiday visa, you can't renew that. You can't extend it. And if you wanted to like change visa types, you have to leave Korea and come back. They don't let you transfer from the working holiday to another visa type. So ideas changing settings here. Yeah. Because I want to see, show you our face, but it's not easy. What do you, what, what do you want to add? Or no, not adding like it's top in front. Oh, you have, I think you have to change the order. Oh. Yeah. It's top right. Right. It's showing. Okay. You just can't see it here. All right. <laughs> okay. So just, just move to here, down. Okay. Yeah. See this? Awesome. Cool. So, you know, we made this like simple chart, uh, as you can see. Uh, so we are dealing with like internationally. Mm -hmm. So, you know, how much like one dollar, one Canadian dollar, one US dollar, or like one Mexico peso, uh, in, in Korean one. So that's why we made this chart. So you can see like uh, in text how much you, you should pay. Mm. So this is like the chart, how this is working. Of course, we, I didn't put like all the currencies, but this would be like most, uh, how, how can I say, most like many people come mm. through this country. So this is kind of, you know, form that, you know, uh, you know to, to be understanding how much and, it would be. And in terms of, uh, Price. If you're just talking about studying long term at language school, then the first thing you see here in the first column, and we'll go over other prices too, mm -hmm. but this is just the price for class. Mm -hmm. So this is different than, say, our study trips, which include a lot more things, mm -hmm. uh, but the tuition here is just the price for class. So you can see uh, the normal tuition, like in Seoul, is around 1.6 million in Korean won. Yeah. And then you can see these different currencies here, which cover a lot of where our students come from. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, if your currency is not listed here, you can plug that into any currency converter and find out. Um, so this is just uh, class tuition. Right. So uh, as you can see left here, you know, Korean won, how much in US dollar or the other, like one, one US dollar, how much in Korean, those kind of things. And also we can like put, uh, give some example uh, about like uh, the classes in Busan or Daegu because it's, it's cheaper than Seoul. So yeah. this this class would be, uh, yes, in Seoul, let's say for like Gyeongsang University, let's say, as an example, then it's going to be much cheaper, like uh, one, one, bam, 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 bam. Yeah, something like that, you know. So class tuition is only for the like, uh, you know, class, Korean class. Mm -hmm. And then it comes something like this. So as you can see, there's kind of big differences. So when you check, when you see, when you decide which city or which school you are going to study, then you can check, you know, how much I need to spend here and there. And this class is normally for the university. It's normally for the uh, three months. Mm -hmm. So this is like three months free. Mm -hmm. and you can divide like three, then like you will see like how much per month. Basically, you can, you know, uh, spend. 
So this is like basic information for the class tuition. Since we mentioned the study trip, how well, let's put the study trip fee. Study. Uh, for trip. the for the study trips, uh, you don't have class on the weekend. It's only during the weekdays. Mm -hmm. So a question about that. So for example, we have like gold plan, bronze and silver. Right. Uh, for the use Korea, use Korea has only like a gold plan, but summer course we have like three plans. So many people choose this. A study plan, a gold plan. Oh, sorry. To go down. So this is how much you should pay for the study trip. Com. And we have, uh, you know, application fee for study trip. So uh, this is including, this is including the problem. So this 2,900, no, it's going to be a little bit different. Oop. Sorry. I think we should change a little bit. If you have a question, just uh, go ahead and type it, and if we don't see it, we'll do our best to address it. Um, I'm checking Facebook and YouTube occasionally. And mm -hmm. so we have a, if, you're on this, if you're on the uh, study trips, and you'd like to go uh, someplace else, like on the weekends, if we don't have uh, some activity, then if you're on like the summer course, then that's OK. Uh, just let us know like what your plans are, so we know where to find you if, if needed. Eddie's struggling here with the spreadsheet. <laughs> no, no, because the, all the fees in study stream is in US dollar base, yeah. so it's hard to say like how much it is exactly in Korean won. But this is like about the you know a gold plan, how much you should pay. So for example, for gold plan, we the price is two nine five zero US dollar, so it's slightly different. But because it is like a, this chart is made by like a made with like Korean one like basis. But anyway, this much like two nine five zero would be the one that you should pay for the, in US dollar. So which means you can kind of compare how much it would be in your currencies. Yeah, we had a question about uh, Lexus Korea, I believe. Uh, it's yeah, so. If you're going to Lexus Korea, their main course is in the morning from uh, 9 a.m. till 12.15, and then you could, that's the intensive 15 course, or you can do the intensive 25, which goes to the afternoon. Uh, then if you need something more flexible, then if you're in Seoul, there's more options, like maybe weekend or evening or one-on-one -on -one course. If you're in Busan, they're still expanding there, so I believe they only offer their core courses of 15 and 25 there. Right. So. If one week you want to do the morning course, say from from 9 a.m. to, to 12:15 for one week, and then later you'd like to you know try doing a one-on-one -on -one course or something, then that's fine. You may have to enroll uh, in those two different programs separately, though. Uh, but just let us know. You can send us an email at info at globalhangook.com, and we can work uh, out your schedule that you'd like. So this is this would be how much you should pay for the tuition and the study trip uh, in your currencies, uh, and also we have many questions about the accommodation. Mm -hmm. So I want to share you how much it would be per month, let's say. So we basically we have like three options for the accommodation: <clears throat> mini studio, and homestay, or shared uh, shared house. So per month, for example. Mini studio. So it's like the price we are talking about is in general things. Mm -hmm. So when you come, when it comes to your case, it might be a little bit. Uh, it could be a little bit different. But this is how much you pay per month for the uh, mini studio. A uh, good thing about mini studio is like including the like all the utilities, so you don't have to pay anything. Only for uh, only for the uh, this like monthly fee. And also, you know, Busan and the other city is different. Mm -hmm. 
So Minnesota in Seoul is a little bit slightly like expensive. But when it comes to like Busan or Daegu, it might be cheaper. But this is like how much in general average you pay for the one month in mini studio. And there was a question about how do we know the course we're going to take? Um, if you're referring to the long term study, then you're going to take a placement test to determine what level you're going to be in. And same thing if you're on a study trip, you'll take a placement test to determine what level you'll be placed in. And that'll come like if you're doing the long term study, that's your first really day at school is the placement test. And for the study trip, that will also be the first day at school for you will be the placement test. Yeah. And so, some of the schools require you to do something in advance. So like an event, like an online or mm -hmm. paper assessment beforehand. But the first day at your, your school will, will most likely be the placement test. And you're only going to be studying Korean language. There's one uh, question from Han, Han, Hana. Uh, it depends on your nationality. So if you are foreign, like if your nationality is like foreign, then you definitely definitely can do it. But by seeing your Korean like a uh, typings, you're quite good enough. So but anyway, like let uh, ask us, you know, give us your you know email or you can contact us info at gobohanbook.com. So that we can go through, you know, case by case, what you can do, what kind of option you have. And if you uh, had a question, where is the summer trip staying? If you're in a homestay, then that'll be a placement that will give you a close return in the summer. You'll get placed with a homestay family. And if you chose mini studio, then you'll be within walking distance to the school. And there's a couple different mini studio buildings that uh, we partner with, so those will also be assigned closer to the summer. The homestay families will probably have to take public transportation from there to the school, but we can help you figure out how to uh, get from the homestay to the school, and your family can, of course, help you too. Uh, all the homestay placements and the, the mini studio placements will also have the address and, and where it was located, so we can, of course, help you figure out how to get there and back. Before go, before checking the homestay fee, there is one question. So, how much is tuition for long term classes? The uh, two years program. So, this is much like one thousand six hundred ish. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which would be in US dollar one four two two dollar is for like three months. So, if you can, you know, multiple eight times, it's gonna be. Uh, how much you should pay for the tuition for two years. So let's say, let's cheat. So this one, so this much you should pay for the, uh, you know, for the tuition. And this is for the like sole price. So it's a little bit like uh, expensive than other city. Of course, it's the school is it's average price. So if you choose like the other schools, or like you know, schools in Daegu or schools in Busan. Even in the Seoul, the price is a little slightly different. Yep. So yeah, the reason you can get for studying Korean language is good for a maximum of two years. Uh, however, some students may finish the program in less than that. Yes. Um, or longer than that. Well, yeah. <laughs> you could of course leave Korean for that and study longer than that. Um, however, Probably, uh, if you enter the program even at level one and you don't have to repeat any levels, you'll finish the program in probably one and a half years. So they give you two years to finish it because uh, they figure you may you maybe you will struggle in one or two levels. You'll have to redo a level or two. Uh, so the visa is good for a maximum of two years. Mm -hmm. uh, however, uh, you may only take a year or a year and a half depending where you get placed. Uh, some of our students get placed in level two immediately or level three immediately. Uh, or maybe higher, so uh, just kind of gauge how long you need to study based on where you think you'll be placed. However, the vast majority of students are placed in level one, so you can start uh, from level one and then continue to study up to uh, two years. Right, right. So total is like up to your skills. Yeah. How much, right. when you are going to start, you know, from the French, 
it's totally possible. Or many people like uh, told us you studied uh, the person like studied by themselves, you know, and then there's like you know obstacle. There's like a limit that they cannot improve like uh, more than that. So that's why you know at first you know you can just like come to Korea and then there is all always like test from the school right. for the uh, first day normally. So you can check like how much your level, how when when you are when you where you are basically. Yeah. There's a question. Uh, so if you're studying Korean language, all your classmates will not be Korean, obviously, because they, they already know Korean. Uh, but if you're at, like, say, uh, either either university program or at Lexus Korea, they, of course, also have Korean students there. So, like, for instance, Lexus Korea teaches English classes, um, IELTS classes. So mm -hmm. there's Koreans studying for that test there. Uh, at universities, of course, there's Korean students doing undergrad and graduate studies. So you will have opportunities to meet native Koreans. And of course, there's opportunities outside of class too. So you're not limited to just uh, who's in your class or your teachers. You can, of course, take the advantage and, and meet other people. And we encourage you to do so. Um, so of course, there's you can need to be a little proactive about it. Your, your school may give you opportunities like maybe a buddy system or something cultural level, yeah, or cultural activity. Uh, but we do encourage you to be proactive about that if you want to meet native Koreans. Uh, and your school, of course, may, may help you. But if you want to have more opportunities, then, of course, you can seek those. And also, like, uh, you know, the class for this, like, uh, this much is going to be Monday to Friday and, like, 9 a.m. or, like, uh, in the afternoons. But, like, it's, like, 15 hours per week. So the other hours is totally up to you, you know, what you are going to do during those, like, hours, you know. There is tons of things to do, so it's totally up to you what to do. So this is how much you should pay for the, you know, two years tuition in Seoul and Busan. And you should, of course, study hard. That's one thing you should do. <laughs> yes, that's why you're here. So once again, to Instagram, uh, we are sharing the screen with our, my, like, uh, you know, tiny, tiny, like, iPhone, so if the quality is not, might not be good enough, if then, you know, please join us our Facebook or, like, YouTube channel, mm -hmm. uh, just because it's, like, better, better like, quality. Sorry. Yeah, we didn't yeah. put the, like, a homestay. Oh, homestay. So there is, a, like, option for the mini studio. Homestay is slightly, like, expensive. Of course, you can choose either two, even homestay has two options, basically, you can only take like a morning like breakfast, or you can take a, a breakfast and the dinner. So in general, like uh, I will give you in general price. Okay, so this much per month you got you are going to pay for the uh, you know homestay. So as you can see, there is like a slightly different, different slightly different you know, prices in between the mini studio and homestay. So you can, based on your budget, you can choose what you want to do. And another question in Instagram, apartments are expensive. You should make a large down payment. Exactly. Yes. Also known as key money. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Many things, you know, many things. So as you know, Nathan said uh, beforehand, you know, of course, it's, it would be nice to, you know, have your own apartment or make, uh, you know, having those apartments cost you a lot right. for the key money. Uh, like I said, the key money, uh, let's put it here, key money. Key money for apartment. So when you come to Korea to have the, you know, your own apartment, it cost you, you know, basically, So this is like a general key money for two years or one year or two years. So you need to deposit this money. Of course, you will get get the money back later when you, you know, go back to your country. But this is like key money for the apartment in Korea. Uh, each city is pretty similar, you know, and then you need to pay, you know, monthly basis like rent fee plus utility. So that's why we you know, recommend you to, you know, uh, you know, come to if you are come you know come to like short term ministry or homestay, 
would be an option for you to, you know, just like a stress, no stress, just come here, um, you know, maximize your, like, you know, things, like focus on your things, like stay in Korea, make friends, like do fun things, those kind of things. There's a question, how is payment handled? Is there really uh, all upfront payment? Uh, it depends on what you're talking about. If you're talking about tuition, then for say long-term study, then you'll have to pay the tuition about three months before class starts. You'll get an invoice for the tuition. If you're talking about Lexus Korea, then you'll also get an invoice for tuition. However, they give you a little bit more time. Uh, of course, you should pay as soon as you can. Uh, but they need the full payment uh, at least two weeks before you start to guarantee that you have a place in class because it's just rolling as they fill up slots. So you need, just need to pay like as soon as you can to basically guarantee you'll have a spot in class and especially for accommodation. And then uh, I hope that answered your question. For study trips, uh, we'd like you to pay all in one payment. Uh, if you need uh, something special arranged, then we can talk to you about that but we'd like you to pay all in one at once because if you're wiring us money, then there's fees with that. If you're doing like PayPal, there's still fees with that as well. So doing less payments actually is more advantageous to you to save money because mm -hmm. you don't want to make like 10 different payments because that's 10 times you have to pay a fee. Mm -hmm. So, or pay taxes or, or what, what have you. And also, you know, you can extend your study. So for example, you don't have to like register like one year or six months or like two years, you know, you can come to like three months, like one term or six months, two terms, mm -hmm. and then you can extend it later. Of course, if you are, if you want to have like study permit, student visa, then you need to register minimum like six months. However, you know, you don't have to like, you know, like one year, you know, at once. So six months study, or oh, if you like it, if you want to study more, longer, then you can like extend it. You know, we are in Korea so that we can help you yeah. go through the all the extension. So oh, we just answered your question here. So on YouTube, if you do want to pay like per term, uh, you, you can, but we recommend you at least start like with six months if you want the visa to for the D41 visa, or if you qualify for the working holiday, then you can kind of go term to term. Uh, but you have to basically be really on top of like registering like they'll ask for extensions like only a couple weeks after you start studying. Exactly. So uh, like say you start a term, then like two weeks later, you're going to be registering for the next term <laughs> and that will continue. So um, if you, for some odd reason, need to do that, then you can. However, um, you're going to have to be very di uh, what, diligent about keeping up with the due dates and such. And they normally only give you a couple of days to re-register if you're a current student. Like including the payment. In, yeah, including the payment. Mm -hmm. So if you're needing to wire money from abroad, then you know you may only have one week total to do the registration, the payment, and then getting like documents if you need to say extend your visa or something like that. So uh, it's important to A, go to class and to pay attention to what's being posted at your language school office. Um, if you're doing like say Lexus Korea and uh, you want to keep registering, then just visit their info desk or like contact us and make sure that you register in advance to make sure you have a spot uh, because they do fill up quite quickly mm -hmm. and they're small. They're on a smaller scale than say university. How many people are usually on study trips? Uh, we normally have between 15 and 20 per trip. Yeah. So we're, Pretty much almost full for yeah, we have like our trips you know, now. Pretty much all the trip is like full, like, yeah. full, like uh, summer course in New Korea. Yeah. So we can have like 20 people. Yeah, if you uh, do want to register, then we encourage you to do so immediately mm -hmm. and pay at least the application fee deposit. And then you have until May to pay the rest of the fees. However, uh, we do think the trips will fill up by the end of this month. Uh, oh, we have something on Instagram. It's hard to read. <laughs> Let's say, uh, I pay. Just, just by the way. Hey. Yeah. So let's say I pay for the two years program, but finish it in on in a year or year and a half. Would I be able to get the reimbursement for the year? It depends, but yes, you can for sure do that. You can for sure do that. So based on your like, uh, you know, uh. 
Okay. So based on your like the time being, mm. uh, you need to tell us so that you can get the reimbursement based on the, like how much you pay, how many times you done you have done, how many times you left you you have more. Yeah, it's like a sliding scale. So if you're thinking about um, or say you're going to finish, you need to let the school know like before the next term starts that you don't want to stay basically. Mm. To get like a full refund, and of course it depends on the school, but it's a sliding scale. So even if something happens during the term and you need to cancel for some odd reason, you know your parents get sick, you get sick, uh, something happens, family then issues. yeah, family issue, personal whatever, issue, then yeah, it's totally fine. Even if you cancel in the middle of the term, then it's a sliding scale depending on like how much you get reimbursed. Uh, you need to only like uh, keep that in mind that like when you refund or when you cancel your uh, class. It affects you the visa, so, your yeah. visa. So you know if you if you have to like go like tomorrow or like very soon, mm -hmm. then we can recommend you to like stop in the middle of it. Uh, but otherwise, we recommend you you know uh, you know finish your term if you can, of course. Yeah. And then, yeah. If you if you cancel your your terms and you're on the D four one student visa, then you need to leave the country pretty much immediately mm -hmm. uh, because you're on a student visa. You're no longer a student. That means you're no longer permitted to be in the country. So uh, you can't just like say, "Oh, I want to just hang around for another six months or something." You'd have to leave Korea. Oops. And even on a lot of the paperwork that the schools have, they need you to put a departure date when you cancel because your visa will also be canceled. Mm -hmm. So let's finish the uh, house options. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, we have like a couple of options for. Something like this. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Okay. okay. So basically, we have like a couple of options for the accommodation. So this is for the you know ministry. We checked out the ministry studio, uh, homestay, and share house. So share house is basically you know there is a, another option for the share house like personal room in the house or like two people or four people's room. So it's various mm -hmm. the price. But uh, it's going to be pretty much like similar to cost of the mini studio, more slightly less than that if you are going to share with other people. But uh, if you are going to like uh, use like one your private room, the cost would be pretty much similar to like homestay. So share house for like two people, one people. Well, at least typing that is key money in general negotiable. Uh, it really depends on the landlord. Yes, and, and also the location of how yeah, and location. how many, like uh, how length, like how yeah. long you are going to stay. So if, I mean, yeah, it, it really depends. Uh, there's there's no like set answer for that. Uh, you you'd have to talk with either the landlord or real estate agent or company that's managing the property uh, to determine that. So, uh, and also like there is like a short term room, of course. For the even the private like apartment or private like house, there's short term contract. However, the monthly fee would be like higher than like normal, you know, yeah. because it's like short term you know, contract. If yeah, if the landlord allows a shorter term contract than like a year or two years, they're probably going to charge you really high rent, mm -hmm. or make you like pay it all up front or something like that. So, um, yeah, you may be paying like a million won per month or something like that. It just depends on the landlord. But yes, it's possible. Sorry for the Instagram. Once again, we are going to we are talking about the prices, costs, and we cannot share the screen on the Instagram. So that's why you know we show our computer uh, over here. But if you are if you want to you know have like good quality of the you know video, the chart, mm -hmm. then please join us at Facebook or YouTube channel. And then we try to answer your questions, but we have only one, uh, you know, cell phone to check up, or we might be a little bit slightly, uh, you know, late. Yeah. And if you, yeah, if you're thinking about renting your own place, then just you know, be prepared for those costs. Mm -hmm. And uh, you may have to wire yourself money or something like that uh, if you have money back in your own country that you need in Korea for that. Okay. 
Okay, so another thing we have like a questions would be like pick up from the uh, airport or drop off. The cost is same. Pick up and drop drop off is same. So let's say one way would be so this much. So if you wanna pick up, uh, wanna be picked up from the airport or drop off to the airport, this much how you should pay per one way. Of course, if you have like less bag, less like bags or less things, then you can also to, uh, attend. Uh, you can just you can also like using use <coughs> uh, you know bus, you know limousine like airport limousine or you know taxi, which cost like pretty similar to like pick up or based on your, your de uh, de destination and also subway is like a very easy to use so there's like a couple of options from the airport but if you don't want that like stress this is how much you should pay for the pickup and once again the drop off and the pickup fee is same and what we mean by the airport pickup would be someone's going to be waiting for you at arrival mm -hmm. and you'll get a car service to wherever you're going wherever your accommodation is and um, this is some people like this so they can have a mm -hmm easier time with their bags or they don't have to worry about taking a train or a bus or a, something like that. So. So um, and yeah, just and it does take a while to get from Incheon into Seoul. Mm -hmm. Even if you take public transportation that you're probably looking at oh, sure, at least sure. an hour. Uh, if you didn't know where the airport was, it's actually on a island. <laughs> yes. Off the which we can build. Yes, yeah. there's it's, on, it's, it's on reclaimed land, exactly. uh, yeah. an island off the coast of Korea, basically. Mm -hmm. um, it serves Seoul, but it is far away from Seoul, actually. So just to let you know, um, it will take you maybe an hour to get into Seoul proper um, from the air, from Incheon at least. Gimpo is actually on the mainland. Right? <laughs> Being said that because, you know, there are people who arrive like a rush hour times. Yeah. We don't recommend you use like subway during those times, just because you have like two like shoot a big bag and then you know, yeah. you, if you wanna like uh, get into the like you know subway, it's, it's, it might be challenging. Because there, there's there's an airport a line from the airport into the city, which may not be as crowded. However, when you get into the city, if you have to transfer to a bus or the subway, then it may be a little bit crowded for you. So maybe you can take a taxi or something. Or pick up or, or, or yeah, or use the pickup service. Yeah. Okay. Another cost that we can cover. So basically we cover the tuition fee, the accommodation, and then the study trip fee, and then pickup fee. So let's go to the like a uh, cost of living. Yeah. And then you know how much you, you need to spend for the like food, uh, shopping, or other things. So subway, since we mentioned the subway, uh one way to subway. You should pay. Oh, sorry. I mixed up again. And yes, as Madison said, so if you request the airport pick up service and then don't need it, then just let us know. Mm -hmm. um, or if you, for some odd reason, even the week that you arrive, uh, depending on how much time you give us, then we can probably still arrange it for you. We just normally need, we'd like to have at least a week, but if you, for some odd reason, uh, need to change your plans and would like the pick up service, then just let us know as soon as possible. We'll try to make it happen for you. Um, so yeah. So subway bus is the price is same. Uh, you know Seoul is well known and Busan as well. Other cities, cities in like Korea has well known for the like having a good uh, you know subway system or bus system, and it's like working like vice versa. So this is how much you should pay. Of course, if you go further than certain like a uh, certain area, then you may pay you know baegon or like e baegon or sam baegon more, like one or two dollars more. But you will see like how much you get paid. But this is like payment for when you get into the subway or bus, um, and I guess it's pretty you know cheap, I believe. And also you can go pretty much everywhere, you know everywhere uh, with this like money in so like big cities basically. Mm -hmm. It's always slightly more expensive for some reason, but uh, pretty similar. Yeah, it's similar yeah. in terms of the price. Mm -hmm. 
So this is how much you should pay. And you know, we have also like a fast, uh, you know, we call it KTX, fast train to the uh, uh, Seoul to Busan in between. It's a little bit like expensive uh, train. Okay, fast train. So, if you're if you're on Facebook, um, it, it doesn't show the comments all the time. So, uh, feel free to write them after the live video, or we'll try to pick them up. But it scrolls like live time for the comments. So if we go back and check it, it doesn't always show them. So, uh, sorry about that. But we'll we'll get back to you as soon as we can with the comments if you leave them there. So. Like I said, uh, fast train in between the Seoul and Busan. This is how much. So it's, it's uh, in Korea is quite like expensive. I will say. I don't know your countries how much you should pay for the train, but this is how much you should pay, and then it's gonna take you one, uh, two, two hours, twenty minutes, thirty minutes in between the Seoul and Busan. Of course, there is like a slower train, which costs you like half of the price. But of course, the time. Was like two times like longer, but well, you can you know just go from the Seoul and to the Busan two and a half hours with with this much money. And and the if you want a reloadable transportation card, they're like three thousand won, mm -hmm. and you can use them in any of the major city subway systems. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter if you're in Busan or if you're in Seoul, you can use the same one. Even though the net, the payment networks may be different, like. You may see like cash fee or T money or some other system, but it's really not that big a deal. Um, you can use the same ones in all the cities, and Eddie is yeah, I some money. <laughs> I want to do that like from the beginning, but I forgot it. So since we mentioned all the monies in Korea, I want to show you. Of course, everyone pretty much know, I believe, mm -hmm. but I want to show you like how uh, the coins and the papers. So here is a couple of things. Oh, okay. So this is a uh, shibon. We don't use it. Only in the bank. I don't know, bank. Only in the bank, I believe. You know. So this is shibon. How much is gonna be? It's worth like one penny in US dollars. Yeah, so this is how it. How does it look like? I hope. And that's the new one. But he has an old one too. Actually. Yeah. So this was old one. Bigger, but this is like smaller one. Tiny, yes. Okay. Like this, like this. Yeah. Sorry, Instagram. Mm -hmm. Like this. So this is like one penny. And then this is like Oshi bun. Mm -hmm. Now to answer your question, the the flight is not included in any of the prices on our website. You will need to pick up your own flight. Mm -hmm. So this is Oshi bun. It's not a good day for the Instagram, sorry. <laughs> yeah, harder for us to show it on Instagram, yeah. So, and this is Begon. And this is Ubegon. Ubegon is bigger, right? So all the, co the coins are different sizes, mm -hmm. so uh, you can tell the difference like if you're holding them in your pocket or mm -hmm. say you're visually impaired. Same thing with all the bills, all the paper money, all the bills are different sizes and different colors. So you should be able to tell the difference. And uh, so this is like one dollar. Yeah, I think it's around. And dollar. this is five dollar. Oh, China, you know, one dollar, five dollar. And, you know, and this is like ten dollar. King Sejong is here. And this is like uh, 50, 50 dollars. And all, these, much. all the people on the, the money are like famous people in Korean history, mm -hmm. such as King Sejong or uh, Yi Hwang, Yi Hwang or Shin Sae Im Da, Yi <laughs> e, yeah. e, e and Yi e, Hwang. Hwang. Yeah. Yes. But don't miss this one. Yeah, so like 10 times differences. Don't mess up the 5,000 and the 50,000. Yeah. So yeah, there. <laughs> Uh, all the yeah, as I said, all the money is different sizes, and they all have the values printed on them. Some countries they don't print the values like in numbers on the coins, so that can be confusing. But here in Korea they do. So 
you should be able to figure out what you need to pay and what you need to use. Um, if you do have a, you know questions at any store, they'll, they'll of course help you out. So we face train and how about the uh, food in the restaurant? Of course, there would be like fancy restaurants in in Korea, mm -hmm. and you know, of course, if you are in the university, then there is also inside of the campus there is restaurant like cafeteria as well. So mixed up with them, like uh, this is how much average you need to pay for the like one meal, one this and meal. Yeah, like if you want to go get like I don't know some curry, or, like a uh, yeah or donkas. Yeah, something like that. Then, of course, the meal prices can vary depending on what you want to eat. Like, if you want to eat like meat, then maybe that's one serving of meat, like mm -hmm. one serving of something salad or mm -hmm. one serving of uh, some type of pork, not beef, because well, beef is expensive. Like beer. So, of course, you if you go to the uh, you know convenience mm -hmm. store, then it might be you know more more like cheap, much more cheaper. But when it comes to you know restaurant, then this is how much you might pay. You may pay for the one beer or one bottle of beer mm -hmm. in the restaurant. And what else? Oh, we can do like the uh, Big Mac index. So what's it cost for like a Big Mac combo in Korea? Uh, right now, I believe it's 4,900 won at lunch for a uh, Big Mac combo. Um, they're doing. They've been doing a promotion for a long time where they actually like give you a bigger size for a cheaper price. So if you want, like at lunch, if you want the large size, it's only like five thousand five hundred won, I think. But granted, the large size here may be like the medium size in your country, especially if you're from the U.S. So just keep that in mind. Um, the regular drink in Korea is only like a twelve or sixteen ounce drink, not twenty, like maybe in the U.S. Um, there is no like 32 liquid ounce or 64 liquid ounce drink like <laughs> there is in the U.S. in some restaurants. Uh, so like no root 66 ounce drink in Sonic here in Korea. <laughs> but you can get a yeah Big Mac combo for like five ball five dollars basically. Mm -hmm. And also we can go to the uh, like cell phone contract, of course. Oh yeah, it's gonna be totally depends on your situation, you know. But let's say, okay. yeah, uh, let's say for using uh, a month, uh, this is average. So you might need to pay this much uh, per month. And of, course, oh, sorry. Yeah. and of course, it's depend on your usage. So if you go, if you use like less than that, you can stay. Like you can spend more. You you can spend less or more. I mean, for me personally, I've, I've lived here for a while, so I have a contract, um, which contracts are normally more expensive depending on how much data you use, as mm -hmm. you said. So if you want a contract then and you want like a decent amount of data, then be prepared to pay like twice as much, maybe 50 to 60,000 won per month for a postpaid contract. And the contracts are normally two years long. And of course you can buy a device if you want, um, you're gonna be paying for it monthly or you can pay for the total cost upfront. Mm -hmm. um, do you recommend any particular travel insurance or is, uh, so uh, we do have a company we work with, however, you don't have to use them. You can of course use your own. Uh, I'd shop around because there's a ton of companies and the prices vary. Uh, or if your health insurance that you have from your home country covers you outside your home country, then that's great. Uh, either one would work fine. Uh, sometimes travel insurance policies are cheaper. so. Just compare and contrast. You can, of course, use your own company, or we can send you information on one of the companies we work with. And also, you know, if you, you know, if you are going to study in the university, each university has like some kind of you know connection to the yeah. like insurance company, which is quite cheap, I believe. Yeah, it's very cheap. Mm -hmm. So uh, you might need to. So normally, the universities have a group policy that's contracted out to an insurance company here in Korea. 
and it can be like that cheap per year. So uh, if you're studying long term, it's normally on like a reimbursement system, as many many are. So you need to, although the coverage varies. So if you want like other coverage, then maybe you need travel insurance in addition to this. But like, let's say you have an emergency, you go, you know, uh, you fall, you fracture your arm or something, then this normally would cover emergencies and things like that. And it's, it may not cover, uh, like you want to just go get a checkup or something like it, maybe it won't cover your, uh, physical or something like that, but emergency care, uh, things like that, it will cover. So we have the details of the coverage so we can send that to you. Each school and each company is different. Right. So, but this is the average, average price. When you get the get the insurance from the comp, uh, from the like schools, and school like, means like university, right? And if you live in a mini studio, then your utilities are included, so you don't have to worry about those separately. If you have uh, some other arrangement for housing, then you may have to pay, like say for share house, you may have to pay depending on the share house. But if you live in a mini studio, everything is included. You just pay one fee per month. And it covers your electricity, <clears throat> your heating, internet, things like that. Let's say you are in the share house, which you may need to pay for, for the utility. Mm -hmm. Then this would be how much you might need to pay per month, uh, which is including electricity and the gas for your like you know your water water warming mm -hmm. and also your room, mm -hmm. uh, but of course if you spend more you need to you know of course pay more. But right. I would say because I'm still like a, you know you know pay this amount of much this much money per month personally. Uh, of course if this is winter time I pay more than that like a seven seven zero like a seven seventy seventy like dollars. But this would be like how much you might need to pay for the utility, and in general, like you know, when it, when it comes to like a share house or like other like options in general, the internet normally like including the water fee is normally including. Like for instance, uh, where I live, the internet and TV is included, and then I pay everything else separately. But I'm similar to Eddie; I maybe pay around that much per month, except in the winter and summer where I have to run air conditioning or. Mm -hmm. Use my gas a lot, so mm -hmm. maybe it, yeah, it goes up to seventy per month or something like that. Uh, some, I mean, it just depends on your living situation on what may or may not be included. But we can of course help you with that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, Instagram says uh, two minutes left, okay. so I urge you to join our like Facebook or YouTube channel yeah. uh, for the you know remaining our live show. Once again, this is like our live show. And then we are talking about the prices or like all costs you might have in Korea. So we cover the tuition, like accommodation, other like you know, general uh, fees and costs. So feel free to ask us even later. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you have any question, feel free to uh, let us know how much you wonder. Mm -hmm. Of course, is you know we do this because you know many people ask us. You know, but you can like search very easily, so that's why I made this like nice, nice form. What else we can cover? Okay, we have three more spots. Maybe it would be good option. Mm. What's something many people wonder? Yeah, if there's anything you're wondering oh. about, oh yeah, the textbooks is good. One. I will say something like this. So in general, our university has two books. Instagram, sorry, we need to let you go. Forty seconds left. Yeah, Instagram limits live videos to one hour long, so you can join us on Facebook or YouTube for the continuation of this live video. Mm -hmm. So once again, uh, a book. Uh, so you you need to buy the books for the study at the university. So normally, university has, has two books. Mm -hmm. uh, like a main book, sub book, or workbook. So per book, this much you need. You might need to pay for the like one book. So you can just make like make it double. Then you may you may know how much you should pay for the like book. 
And of course, the book means you might need to you need to use these for three months. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is textbook per per term. Yeah, per term. Yes. Per, yeah. And it of course can depend on the school. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll continue on YouTube and, and Facebook. Facebook for now. Any questions from you guys? Anything you want to wonder? You know how much you might need to pay for the like, uh, you know, certain things in Korea month or in your currencies. Of course, the currency changes like uh, you know every time, so it comes and goes. Though, so the price would be like uh, it could be different, but. You know, I got the, this currency yesterday night, so I believe it's pretty, you know, up to date. And there's like a dollar, US dollar, EU, like euros, a krona, dollars from Canada, Canadian dollar, Australian dollar, and New Zealand and Mexico and Brazil peso. Mm -hmm. So, do you have any other questions about the cost, just let us know. We have two more slots here. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, most of this information we've covered in other videos before, like the video I made a long time ago covers the cost of living in Korea, and then the money you need for like the visa and things like that, like how much you need to study here for like six months. And then of course you can just multiply that if you mm -hmm. want to stay longer. Mm -hmm. If you have uh, specific questions about something that is maybe unique to your situation, then just let us know. We can, of course, uh, get back to you on that. Uh, maybe, I don't, I don't know what that could be, but <laughs> something unique for you, then just let us know or email us, and we can, of course, uh, tell you. Let's say T-shirts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can buy, like, a fancy T-shirt, but, you know, whenever I buy something from, like, you know, some like a channel like this also like cost me like uh, actually cheaper cheaper than like a salmon uh, cheaper than that but if you want to buy like some like name brand like sure pants or something like even if you go to uniqlo mm -hmm. it like a pair of jeans may be between 30 and 50 dollars mm -hmm. for a, a t-shirt like a button-up shirt like eddie is wearing mm -hmm. from like a brand store it may be 30 to 50 dollars depending on the shirt mm -hmm. of course you can find sales like if you want to just buy like a regular like cotton t-shirt, then maybe like $10 or less. Mm -hmm. But if you want to buy some like main branded uh, shirt or pants, mm -hmm. I mean, of course you can pay more, but yeah, 40,000 per piece. Yeah. It's kind of, you know, average yeah. price, I would say. Uh, if you want to drive in Korea, then yes, you can use an international driving permit. Um, I don't think most of our students would drive here, however. Mm. So is Pusan better? Um, probably not. <laughs> it's There's a lot of traffic in Pusan too. Um, the lines are very tight. I noticed. Yeah, the roads are smaller in Pusan. I don't know why. <laughs> also, uh, compared to like maybe a Western country, the roads are narrow, narrower in general. Mm. So maybe not, as narrow, maybe not as narrow as Japan, but uh, quite, at least narrow compared to like say the US. Um, so if you do feel like you want to drive, like maybe you want to rent a car one day or something, a lot of people drive in Jeju because mm -hmm. of just uh, the how the geography is there and it's easier to drive there if you want to travel. But if you're in Seoul or Busan, then I recommend um, using public transportation or taxis mm -hmm. or something like taxi. that. Taxi, yeah. Taxi. Oh, yeah, the taxi fee went up. Yeah, something like this, right? I would say. No, it's higher. Higher? Three eight? Yeah. Three. Okay. I got confused. This is it used to be like a three one, I guess, right? It used to be three thousand one for mm -hmm. the flight drop. Yes. Yeah, three thousand one. You know, and a couple of days ago, it increased like after I don't know five years, I don't know ten years, uh, negotiations. You know, so when it when you get to the uh, taxi, uh, that much that much is you need to pay, and then of course when it comes to you know 
uh, you know, go and go and go, and if the price went, uh, will go up. You know, but I believe uh, you know taxi would be also nice to use it. You know, it's like cheap compared to other other country. I believe, and there are tons of taxis. Of course, when it comes to like at night time, it's, it's a little bit like diff difficult to get like you know a taxi. However, you know when it comes to the daytime, morning time, it's pretty easy to get taxi. And also, like if, depending on your visa, you can get a going back to driving. You can get a driver's license in Korea as long as you pass the test. Um, however, then you have to pay insurance and maybe buy a car and, and all that stuff. So, um, most, I mean, most people use public transportation, even people that can drive, they may drive once a month mm. to like, maybe go to like Costco to stock up on groceries. Yeah, it's, it's my case. So, uh, <laughs> even if you drive in Korea, unless like you drive every day to work or something, you live way far away out in the far suburbs or something. And public transportation doesn't get to you very easily, then like you know, not that's I don't know, maybe even ninety percent of the people just use public transportation. Especially when it comes to like a big cities, you yeah. Know. Just because, because it's easier and yeah. faster. Yeah, I mean, just for example, like I've sat in traffic for like thirty minutes to go like three kilometers or like less than that. Maybe one. Kilometer. When it comes to like Gangnam area, you know, rush hour is gonna be like a very hard to move. Yeah. You're going to be waiting a long time either way. At least with the subway, you know it's going to come like every three minutes and you're going to be moving. But driving is a little bit congested. Mm -hmm. Any other things from you guys? Sorry for the Facebook. We cannot check your uh, comment. Yeah, sorry to check but I will, we will get back to you later. Oh, yeah. What is, what's my language skill? Uh, I finished a language program at a school, a university program here in Korea. So uh, I consider myself like low advanced or higher intermediate. Um, I don't use Korean that often as much as I used to, but um, I can get by. <laughs> okay. Any other things from you guys? What would like to you? Uh, to hear. And yeah, if you do have any other questions we didn't answer here, then feel free to leave a comment or contact us on our website or email. Uh, we check our comments and social media messages. So a lot of you like to direct message us on Instagram. Uh, a lot of you like to, uh, of course, leave a comment or message us on Facebook too. So feel free to do either of those and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. We try to get back to you within three business days. Exactly. Unless we have like Seollal or Chuseok. Yeah, most nice like the holiday. However, you know, we are going to, you know, we are trying to, uh, you know, pretty much faster to answer your questions. So for today, uh, as we said from the beginning, we are, we try to cover the costs and like, uh, you know, tuition fee, all the things we're trying to do that. So this is like what the, what you can see. Uh, so, you know, when it comes to like left, there is Korean won, how much from the euro currencies for US dollar mm -hmm. or like euros, corona from the uh, Sweden and by, uh, many things below. So, you know, the currency is like changing, you know, you know, every day, every hour, pretty much I believe. And also the cost that we are, we share today is, uh, you know, average, average cost. But it's nice to see in your currency. That's why we want to do this. And also, you know, uh, your case would be different. We are going to focus on your case, each one, each, each by each. So, you know, if you want to stay here with this option, that option, you know, uh, feel free to contact us and like how, much, how long you want to you know, talk about, uh, how, how long you want to study. And we are going to, you know, adjust, you know, based on your plan or program or terms. Mm -hmm. I hope this video will help you to understand, you know, or to give, to have like basic, you know, idea how much mm -hmm. or like here and there. Uh, and, you know, uh, if you like this video, you know, share with others and, you know, leave a comment below.
we are gonna come back with the other good ideas. You're very welcome, Eric. Thank you for joining us and answering, or sorry, asking a lot of questions <laughs> that we can answer for you. Yes. And uh, hopefully, yeah, we covered a lot of the information that yes. people really wanted to know. Um, again, on our YouTube, there's also other videos that we've done before about the costs and things like. Mm. Um, with details, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah with, with a little bit more detail and also shorter videos that have just a summary of like how much it costs for like one, uh, sorry, six months, for example. So uh, if you have any other specific questions, of course, let us know. And hopefully you'll have a better idea about mm -hmm. what you need to prepare for living here in Korea and studying here in Korea. Also, if you have like other questions for the like uh, how much you know this and that, uh, you know comment below mm -hmm. below comment. So then we might have like another live show, you know later with your questions. Right. All right. I once again thanks for joining our live show. I yes. hope you like our timeline. Of course, you know we are checking which like hours is best for for us to answer your questions. So that's why this time we you know suddenly made our like call and do live video Monday morning, 8.30, sorry for the late, uh, but you know, we are going to do more than more, more this kind of things. Mm -hmm. I hope you like this. And sorry for the late once again, and I will see you soon. Yep, thank you for joining us, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. It's gonna take like a, a little bit time to turn off. <laughs> Okay. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm.